Hello again. Now we are going to look at how to algebraically manipulate the formula in trigonometry a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is often how you find one of the sides of a triangle. In this case, we are going to solve for b. Now we want to get b by itself on that left side of the equation. In order to do that, we need to subtract an a squared from both sides. That's so we can cancel it off. So we subtract an a squared from the left side. And if we do that to the left side, we have to do it to the right side. So we subtract an a squared from there. Now that allows us to cancel off a squared minus a squared is zero. So we just cancel that off. Okay. Now notice that we have a b squared. We are looking for just b without the square. Any time that you just have a square, you can take the square root of it to get rid of it. But as always in algebra, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So we put a square root over b squared. So we put now a square root over the entire right side. Remember, we put it over the entire left side, so we have to put it over the entire right side. So we take the square root of a square, and it leaves us with our final answer. Here's an important note. This is as simplified as it gets. You cannot remove the square root and say b equals c minus a. That is not correct. Because there's a subtraction problem, or even if it were an addition problem, that breaks the rules of algebra and you just can't do it. So this is your final answer. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you later. Check out flippedclassroom.ca for a few more videos.